What up, everybody? This is Just Blaze. My man, Mike Shav, Super Engineer Extraordinaire. And we're going to get into this uh, just really quickly. I'm going to give you guys a little tip on how to chop samples easily in the logic and import them into EXS. Uh, there's a lot of different ways you can go about this. My man, uh, Clutch Johnson, put me on to an easy way to do editing in logic, so we're going to share that with you right now. So very quickly, very easily. So what we're going to do is chop this vocal really quickly. Um, I have eight bars selected. So what you, your first step is to uh, select the track that you want to edit. In this track, in this case, it's going to be vocal print all one. And like I said, we're playing eight bars of that. Bear with me, I'm not a great teacher and I don't do this too often. So the key to this is the slash key. Um, the slash in Logic defaults to split regions and you can do it as the track is playing. So we'll do it like this. So, as you can now see, as that track was playing, um, on each on each downbeat, I just hit the slash key, and we uh, made six slices out of that. So now we're gonna select each slice, and we're gonna go to create a uh, empty MIDI track. Now, if you have a MIDI track select, whatever kind of track you have selected in Logic, in this case we're gonna go down to an instrument track. If you double click in this empty field here two times, or if you double click in that field, it'll create another track of the same type that you just had selected. So we just made an instrument track but, uh, quickly. Now we're going to scroll that up just for organization's sake, so it's right under the vocal track. So now we go to that instrument track and we're going to select mm -hmm. EXS. Stereo EXS, pretty straightforward. Now I lost my selection, so we're going to go back and select those splits I just made. Now you go here. We'll zoom in so you guys can see. On your EXS sampler, you're going to the edit page. Got that? Okay. So we go to the editor in EXS, this is, which is where you uh, organize all your samples and everything. We're going to take those five slices or six slices I just created and we're going to literally just drag them off of there into here. You have three options. We're going to use contiguous zones. What that will do is starting at key C1, it'll spread those six samples across six keys starting at C1. Hit OK. Now, what we can do is, you'll see I have six samples here, six zones as they refer to them in this EXS instrument. I'm going to select all six of them. Then I'm going to create a group, make a new group, drag all those samples into that group. Now, I go to the group editor within the EXS uh, instrument editor. Go to group, and here, stop laughing at me, and here, I can set the polyphony. So what I'll do is I want each sample to be able to cut cut uh, cut the next one off. So I'll set it to a maximum polyphony of one. Then we're pretty much set. At that point now all six samples are laid out on keys starting at C1 and the next five consecutive keys. And in order just to test it and make sure I can go to the Apple uh, or to the uh, Logic Caps Lock keyboard. You are so fooling around with my heart. And now you see that all six of those samples are cutting each other off. Easy way to just take some samples, chop them up, put them in Logic, edit them rhythmically, and throw them right in the EXS sampler, and you're all you're all done. You're you're, you're good. And that's that. And that was EXS 101 with Just Blaze and Mike Shav on whatever his website or blog will be. And me too. And I was yeah, here. Yeah. <laughs> I taught him that. Yeah, Jay Electronica has taught me everything I've known about Logic. He actually makes all my beats, all my beats too. It's not really me. And I have like a little mint hamster and a wheel that, you know, powers my laptop and things of that nature. And that's it. So we're out of here. Thank you for tuning in. And now I'm tuning out. Good night.